Hi, this is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice, and today we're going to do a advanced course in cartooning. And I'm going to go step by step, and we are going to change this character and all these textures into a cartoon, a, a very nice full color cartoon style. So bear with me. This will probably be multiple. Uh, multiple tutorials we have a lot to do a lot to cover a lot of details this will be probably a slower pace we're gonna take our time not worry about uh, my pregnant pauses as they're called not worry about my ums so much and do this more as a workflow work in progress I haven't done usually I do quite a bit of preparation uh, before I do a tutorial I haven't done as much preparation for this so we're gonna go a little bit on the fly so the first thing I want to do is add a distant light real quick just put it like that and add a camera real quick for my spot renders so we're gonna start with her face Select your face, uh, surface, and I'm going to go to the editor, make sure that I have her face selected, and all of that we're going to take, and we're going to go under our shaders, all right, and we're going to under styles go to manga style shader I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy that set we're going to go to the dual sharp basic 75 I'll change it like that this is what we have changed our texture completely so we need to uh, change this and make it into a preset that we're going to use from here so we're going to move everything to white Outline is fine. Uh, the specular color strength, I'm going to move that to 1. I'm going to move sharpness to 1 and glossiness to 0.25. strengths on my tones so tone 3 my minimum I'm gonna move to 2 my maximum I'm gonna move to uh, 0 0.8 minimum 0 0.2 maximum 0 0.8 I'm gonna 
move this one to point eight. And put that to point two. I'm gonna do a real quick spot render to see if my shading's kinda where I want it to be. Yeah. Got the outlines. You see the outline. That's what I want. Okay. Start playing around with it. I want to move my UV set to Victoria 6 because that's what I'll be using. So now I go into my browser. I'm going to go to my uh, my textures and I've already through Photoshop created um, eyebrows and makeup for the character with the colors behind. Uh, the way you do that is just open up a Photoshop, grab, make three layers real quick and then go and grab um, the colors from a picture that you like, uh, skin color or tone that you like. You want to look for the shading, the highlights, and the fill. And I'll probably do uh, at some point a more detailed tutorial on color selection and how to make custom color uh, setups but not today. So that's my light. I'm gonna go down to my paper and put them as the same. I'll do three light and three and two dark. You want something to be darker, you do two light and three dark. It changes uh, which gets preference. And then my third is for the uh, specular. Grab that. And that's that bright, almost pink. good progress good so I got my shading happening the way I want it to Let me check my... now I need to my son not taking his nap in the background if you're hearing that difficult to find times to, to do this What you want to do is once you get the the skin um, a base that you like, uh, go to your file and save as as a shader, not a material, not material shader. So you save that and you save it uh, according to the color you want. So skin. Um, I would suggest doing this for any color that you make. So I got red, I got white, I got tan. That way you don't have to reset it every single time. So I'm gonna uh, skip ahead a little bit. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab her skin. And 
put a preset that I've already made. show this to you so you can see my settings and depending on what the what you want you can change your settings and tweak it there's no it's not really wrong it just depends on what you're wanting I'm going uh, part of the reason why I have the settings the way I do is I'm going for a very uh, intense bright flowery almost look So it's very similar to what we had, but it's a bit softer, a bit, a bit nicer. It's tweaked. It's much more tweaked than what I made in five minutes on video. Okay, let's do the lips. Now, not everything needs to be the same as in you don't need to use the same shader pack I use a couple different shader packs sometimes um, in your let me show you okay in your render settings if you go to general and then hit that tab show hidden properties It'll open up all this stuff and one of them that opens up is render style and you change that to cartoon and what that will do is even this which has the default texture on it it will put a cartoony look onto it which is wonderful for little things that uh, you may not want to build a unique texture for but you don't want it to stand out too much either. So that, that helps a lot in, all, in, in many of the smaller things. So I, I always work with that on if you're doing a color, if you're doing something with color. So the uh, what I put on her lips is a it's from the uh, visual style shader which I've, I've used in other tutorials which it unlike the uh, manga style which splits it with the tones and then also has a paper tones and then also has uh, these screen tones and other things that you can manipulate and use to massive amounts of effect uh, and gives you incredible amounts of variety the visual shaders are simpler they're more simplistic they're easier to use you have occlusion dark light you have diffuse dark light you have uh, your outline dark light and then you have your specular color and that's basically it which is fine for uh, many things. I'm actually going to brighten up the red. I like to use it especially if it's something that's a bit glossier. I find it works better with the glossier stuff. Yeah, that looks good. I'm making good progress. With the eyes, what I am going to do is I'm going to start with uh, anime eyes, these, which you can get also at DOS Studio. You don't have to. There's, there's, if you, uh, this is what I usually start with and use because the big reason is it gives this black line around the iris, which I really like 
and that's much more difficult to do but what you can do is you can select the eyes in your surface tab and you want to put your reflection at zero and then grab your iris and pupils and that and that and tear and those are your different parts of the eye you can also make custom um, eyelashes and the way you make custom eyelashes is you grab the eyelash and you make them whatever you want and then you uh, in Photoshop make an opacity layer which I'll probably also do a tutorial of that will be a fairly short tutorial on opacity layers basically you just make triangles you make you make in white what you want to show up and you leave everything that you don't want to show up in black and you put it on your opacity <clears throat> your opacity thing and that will make an opacity layer so I'm gonna give her eyes real quick What I'll do is I'll, I'm looking at all of these and I'm going to right click and I'm going to show in content library and then I'm actually going to right click again and I'm going to show in products. Ah. Show in products. And the reason why I like to do that is because I like to have everything in one place. What are these called? They're called DG tune stylized for Genesis 2 females. Yes, we are Daw's artists are the professionals of naming things in great detail. Toony eyes. Anime eyes. No, can't. It's too simple. Ah, very bright. That's probably better. I have a white already made, so I'm going to throw the white on. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Control Z to undo. And surfaces. Editor. And finding that one. There we are. Presets. White. There we go. And you notice white is not entirely white. You'd be amazed what little colors blend in and find their way into things. And so don't, you, you, it takes practice to find what these colors are in reality. But it's worth, it's worth the effort. 